So welcome back everybody, I'm Ernest of the Fix, and let's get started. So what does engineering test mode mean? It's basically a backdoor free diagnostic tool already built into the instrument cluster so you can get vehicle specific codes, do useful tests like sweeping the gauges, toggling the backlights, diagnostic lights, and even the LCD displays. So the known car makers that have this engineering test mode are Ford, Lincoln, Mercury, as well as Dodge and Chrysler, and there could be many more. So it's actually relatively simple to access the engineering test mode on the instrument clusters, especially the ones that have a trip button, like you see on some of these right here. Basically with the vehicle turned off, hold down the trip button, meanwhile turning the ignition to accessory mode, making sure not to start the vehicle, as you can see the one in front of me right here. This is the trip button, hold it, turn it on to accessory mode, and then you'll see the actual menu start to change here. Depending on what year, make, and model it is, the message displayed on the instrument cluster can vary. You might see the message engineering mode or test number one, etc. Simply cycle through the different tests to see what you're specifically looking for. Is the fuel gauge not working? Do a gauge sweep test. Is a certain diagnostic light not coming on? Do a diagnostic lights test. You can also do these tests on a vehicle that doesn't have a trip button. The way to access the engineering test mode may vary. On some vehicles, it might be a switch button on the left or right side of the dash or center console. And here I have one in front of me. This one is for a Ford Escape 2008, and this is the instrument cluster that it goes with. Note there's no trip button. So for example, on the Ford Escape 2008 to 2012, this is how you perform the engineering test mode. So as you can see on this instrument cluster, there's no trip button to be found. Uh, the external trip button is actually here, and it's on the switch where you have info, setup, and reset. On this one, to access the engineering test mode, you would hold the essentially the reset button and as you're powering it on this one's not connected but it would actually toggle this instrument cluster and go inside the back door of the engineering test mode similarly to the steering wheel if you have a vehicle that doesn't have this setup but it's on the steering wheel itself it may be a button that says reset or okay depending what kind of year making model your vehicle is you would hold that button turn the vehicle on don't start it and then you should be able to access the engineering test mode on vehicles like the Ford Explorer and F-150 pickup truck, the external button can be found on the steering wheel, but it's essentially the same process. So to access the engineering test mode on this particular instrument cluster, which is a 2004 Ford F-150, you would hold down the trip button if it's physically present on the instrument cluster, and do not turn the vehicle on, simply turn the accessory mode on, which is the last stage before turning the vehicle on. And as you'll see, it's gonna to go to a test, and now it's going through different functional tests of the instrument cluster, sweep gauges, and a couple seconds it'll start doing that. And then you can continue cycling through the trip button and see what different functional tests you can do. So that's the sweep test, and you'll see the LCD, all the blocks are displaying. Here's all the diagnostic lights turning on. And if you keep cycling, you'll see diagnostic trouble codes. And there's plenty of different modes that you can actually access and test for. And there could be dozens of different. You can do individual gauge tests, etc. And to exit out of the engineering test mode, just simply turn off the ignition. So in this case, I'm going to turn off the power supply, but on your vehicle, either you press the electronic start stop button or take the key out of the ignition and turn it back on. And now you're out of the engineering test mode. And that's it. So a typical example of what all can be tested inside the engineering test mode, for example, the Ford Escape, on your screen you'll see all the different functional tests that you can do once you're inside there. Ultimately, if you're not sure whether or not the issue that you're trying to troubleshoot is a fault with the vehicle, possibly wiring, sensor, or if it's the instrument cluster, try out this engineering test mode for yourself. If you've liked this video and want to see more like it, Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps. Do you know of any other car make that actually has this feature built into the instrument clusters? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, we'll see you next time.